life over the way I have to live. I came over. Not sure I would have answered the phone. Mm. Is that true? What? Well, there's no pot of gold at the uh, end of the rainbow. Yeah, I'm afraid it just it might be true. He really wants a divorce. You know your sister. She doesn't sit around hoping for things. She just makes them happen. The divorce is already filed. The papers have been drawn. All that remains is my signature, and the story is over. You gotta find her. You gotta talk to her. No, I gotta find the strength to let go. Because it's obvious I am no longer wanted. How can you say that? How can you even think about signing those divorce papers? What other choice do I have? Not to sign it! You love Eden. Eden doesn't love me. Cruz, she is sick and she doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, right. So I kept telling myself. All those months, that's what I told myself. In San Francisco, when I could feel her watching me from everywhere and she wouldn't let me see her or at Christmas time when the kids kept asking is mama gonna come home for Christmas that's what I want for Christmas mama gonna come home and I said I don't know she would if she could and then I kept thinking to myself that's it she's sick she'd be here if she could and you know that tore her heart out because she wasn't here Well, maybe, maybe it did tear her heart out, Kelly. I don't know. I mean, I have no way of knowing that. It doesn't change the fact that she didn't come. She knew the way. She didn't make the trip. She sent substitutes instead. She sent Ted and Suzanne. Wonderful. And now this. I mean, really, you know. What would you do? I wouldn't care what it said in a letter. I wouldn't care because I know her. Mm -hmm. And if she was herself, she would never, ever think about not coming home to her children. She was herself. You want to read the letter? No. Why don't you read it? I don't well, want I to read it. Should... I don't have to read a letter to know how my sister feels. Well, maybe you do. Listen to this. Dear Cruz, etc. I have hidden behind so many personalities over the last year. Now that I'm nearly whole again, I find I'm still hiding behind a letter to tell you I'm not coming home. Okay, and then down here, what do we have? There is no way I could make peace with this decision if Suzanne weren't there to watch over you for me. I led you to her in hopes that she'd be sort of a guardian angel, as I've always trusted her with whatever is closest to my heart. I mean, for the love of God, what am I supposed to make of this? She's not thinking clearly. She's planning my rest of my life for me. I have a replacement now for her. Personally delivered. This is clear. Sign the divorce papers and start your life over the way I have. Did you hear that? The way I have, she started her life. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it either. It's got my name on it. This is, this is rational and sane. It's Eden. She is putting her life back together without me and the kids. Dare say she doesn't love her baby, Scrooge. Uh huh. Okay, then why isn't she here? You think this is the same as a as a hug, good night? You want to try to explain to them why their mother is not going to be here again tonight to tuck them in? I can't. I just can't stand it. Well, I can't stand it either, and I don't think I should have to. And and, and I'm and I'm sorry if it feels bad. 
but I'm not going to sit around here till my teeth fall out waiting for something that's not going to happen. And I'm not going to try to promise my kids that the mama's coming home if I don't believe it, and I don't. Daddy, you said you read to me. <laughs> I'm coming, Chip. Oh, for the... I'm sorry. But I think I owe it to my children to give them a second chance at some normal kind of life, you know. <laughs> What about my sister? Doesn't she deserve a second chance, too? Kelly, she got it. I gave her everything I had. Wasn't enough. things when you talk about Kelly, you made it really clear how you feel. How I, I don't feel doesn't matter. It's how you feel that counts. And if you believe that signing these divorce papers is the right thing for you to do, then I'm behind you 100%. You mean that? Yes, I do. I love my sister. I love you and... I love the two of you together. What you had was, was something of an ideal for me. It was uh, something for people like me who can never seem to quite get it right to aspire to. You made me believe in miracles. Well, they do happen. They just lead to something else. God knowing deep down in my heart that this day was coming. Well, I have to thank you for helping me face the truth. I think maybe she's helping me face the truth, too. And you know what? Just because it's over, it doesn't mean that it never existed, right? Yeah. And you, you had something beautiful for a time, and now you're going to start a new life, right? Begin again. That's, that's the uh, that's the positive way of putting it. And I uh, I believe that. I, I think I believe that. Of course, I may just be pretending. Well, if you get really good at pretending, though, I, I think that you start believing it. How are you feeling? I feel completely empty. Which is to be expected, given that something like this is ending. Maybe that's how you feel when you're starting a new beginning, too. I hope so. Me too. Well. Now the fun begins. What do you mean? Well, I've got to tell. Chip and Adriana that their mommy's not coming home. And now, uh, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to stay here, okay? If you need me, I'll be down here waiting.
divorce is when a husband and a a husband and a wife decide that they might be happier living apart, then they get a divorce. Will you guys be happier living apart? It's hard to say. And I wish it weren't happening, but we need to find out if we're gonna be happier living apart than, than the way it's been. Are you guys mad at each other? No. No, we're not mad. We're we're mostly just sad. Because the love between us has changed. You know. You okay, Adrian? It, it has changed. You know, we still love each other, but it's not the kind of love that married people have. It's more the kind that, that friends have. It's changed. The love has changed for us too. No, never. Mommy will always love you just the way she has. It's just that she won't be able to um to be here with us. Mm-hmm. Will you go away too? No, I'm I'm not I'm gonna be right here with you guys. Always. Mm -hmm. I promise. I promise. I know this is a sad and scary time. You probably don't even understand it. I, the important thing is that it's not your fault. You know, it's not your fault. No, it's just something that happened between me and Mommy. And if you're confused about it, you can always ask me questions, okay? You ask me questions about it. We can talk about it any time you like. That's right. And tonight when you go to bed, I want you to remember, remember that, that, that my love for, for you will never change. I, I promise that. See, the love that a parent has for a child... That's forever. It can never be any smaller. It's, it's always, it just gets bigger and bigger. And you know that wherever she is tonight, Adriana, wherever she is tonight, Mommy, Mommy loves you with all her heart. Just, just like I do. And she loves you too? Well, it's not that she doesn't love me, Chipper. It's just that it's different than it was. It's just different. And guess what, you guys? If you ever have any other questions, no matter how big or how small, you can always ask your Aunt Cal, okay? But first, I want to tell you this amazing story. It's about a beautiful princess with blonde hair and blue eyes and a strong and handsome prince. And they lived in this amazing enchanted castle. Do you want to hear it? Okay. Yeah, go on, honey. Come on, Chip. You can hear the story. And the princess name was Eden. And she married the prince. But they didn't look happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs>